For days, thousands of dead fish have been floating like a carpet along the banks of the Mystic River. Now, flies have followed the stink. A nearby Encore Casino has hired a crew to try to clean up the mess. We had some concerns of what, what could possibly happen here. Patrick Heron with the Mystic River Watershed Association says he smelled trouble coming last week when he saw a large school of menhaden swimming in this part of the Mystic. He says probably being chased upstream. You know, the speculation is that, you know, stripers and predators like stripers or bluefish can end up pushing a population in like this. And while the menhaden, also known as pogies, can grow up to about 15 inches long, striped bass can grow up to be 60 inches. Heron says when the menhaden got to the Amelia Earhart Dam, they ran out of room to run, then ran out of oxygen. And then they've churned through uh, enough oxygen that they deprive themselves and, and perish. Heron says it's happened before and that there's no one to blame. But Rob Moyer with the Ocean River Institute says sewage and fertilizer runoff also play a role by feeding algae blooms, which in turn also suck oxygen out of the water. People needn't spend money on their lawn to spreading fertilizer once it's established, and they can help save fish by saving money. The good news is, is that these dead fish will likely sink to the bottom of the river by the end of the week. Also good, this is not considered an endangered species. As grandmother used to say, there are plenty of menhaden in the sea. Reporting live, I'm David Munich, WCPB News. Bye.